And um, welcome to Shoebox Call and Response Round 12. Um, we are going to dig right in and let me see. If um, you're just coming in and you wanna go ahead and talk about your work, if your partner's here, if, uh, or if not, you know, you can still talk about your work. Um, go ahead and raise your hand in either the participants window or the reactions window. And um, let me see, with that, I am going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, so everybody can see the exhibition here. And um, what I will do is, um, I do have a couple people who need to go first. And again, just take like a couple minutes uh, because we have a lot of people here who want to talk about their work and we want to give everybody time. So just take a couple minutes to talk about the process, the experience, um, maybe any themes if you tried a new medium, um, but not necessarily about each individual work. So that way everybody has time. So, um, Anne, let me see, oops. Anne Bray, we will start with you. And I think, let me see where you were in the, oh yeah, you're towards the top, you and Moya. And you said Moya wasn't able to be here, I don't think. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. It's just me solo. All righty. He's um, moving furniture or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd rather be here. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, go for it. Okay. So, hi, everyone. I am Anne Ambre. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Okay. Because I'm using the iPad as my microphone. Um, <laughs> so, Moya and I just think. So, so wonderfully. Gabrielle needs to mute. Is that, oh, let me see, I'm finding, uh, I got it. <laughs> um, we we um, just melded so wonderfully together. It was so much fun. I started with my um, work schedule. Doesn't help that I have my iPad, but where's, where's the camera? my work schedule cube and I did all cubes for the origami cubes for the entire project um, which was really fun it was a it's a thing I've um, started obsessing over rather than the paper weavings um, but we just bounced off of each other um, I was like most days I was I did it in like a minute or two or five um, it was just really, really fun. And um, thank you so much. I'm in 13. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and thank you. I mean, it's good to see you back too. Yeah. I think my, my favorite, like I tried all sorts of different media and making one out of photographs was really fun because it's like, it's really dense. And then also my stitched one. So I stitched it before, keep going down. Yeah, it's after the, um, Moya did that one in the middle that uh, she said it was a crop circle, but to me it looked like stitching. And I'm doing a lot of mending um, in all my free time. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd stitch the paper before I folded it and oh, see what happened. Cool. And it, it, it's just, I love it. So anyway, <laughs> I like have all these different boxed cube directions that I can go in now. I have like this little library of tubes. Oh, cool. You know, the, again, it, I love like, you know, seeing how you try new things and, you know, an experiment and see what yeah. happens with it. it. It's like license to experiment. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Plus having someone else, you just, it, you go places that you just would never think of going. That's great. Your... <laughs> it's a wonderful collaboration. Yeah. yeah, we had fun. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right, Susie. And I think, let me see, you're towards the top also. Um, here we go. And um, yeah, it, we're oh yeah, and I think is that did I see Emma Yelly here? I'm here. Oh good. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you want to start, or I, I should start. 
Um, well, um, yeah, so we were partnered together and I mean, I decided to, um, or she was assigned to go first. So I let her speak to um, be starting the process and then I'll follow up. Okay, well, yeah, just quickly. Uh, yeah, I have no idea of the topic I wanted to address. Only I know it's just, I wanted to explore with different formats and different um, elements. And yeah, I was so interested how Susie responds to that. And yeah, I was playing with her, like a, with different formats. I remember I sent her the first video on horizontal and she responded me in a vertical one. So I respond her in a vertical one and then she responded me with an image. And then I responded with her with an image. So it was like, like kind of a communication and exploring uh, together. But yeah, try to discover also at least for me was how or what it was the topic that we want to address in those works. So it was kind of so interested and so playful and I had so much, so much fun to work with her and to explore different things. And yeah, thank you Susie to, to allow me that. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I decided um, to participate because it's been a while since I've been in the studio. I, I teach and I've been doing more academic writing and those kind of things. And so I needed to sort of jumpstart my studio practice and, you know, in, in whatever time capacity that I could uh, contribute. And so uh, I was really fascinated uh, with Amiela's background in performance and uh, interdisciplinary. So, and I am very interdisciplinary and doing a lot of post-studio, but um, after the first video, um, the sense of space and place included in that, um, I also wanted to share and um, communicate where my space and place was. And I'm in, I'm in rural Kentucky and, um, and that, that those two weeks, we had everything from uh, freezing, uh, rain, uh, we had flooding, we had all these seasons within two weeks. And so part of that was also exploring and sharing that. Um, and I really liked how Amiela took that also and projected onto herself and, and reinterpreted um, um, some of the material that I was um, using. And then also her response back on using body in the way that I was using body. And so it was a nice sort of nonverbal communication of, uh, of that. And, and that's the way that I took it is um, space and place. But then I also wanted to share, I mean, you'll see the, the seasonal changes that occurred while I was um, participating. So that was my focus. But, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Fantastic. I mean, really, really great collaboration. And, um, you know, the, we have a lot of video this time. So if you, I'm not going to show the video because that will, you know, take up a lot of time, but definitely everybody should go back and um, look at the videos and watch the videos. And um, if just in case, so you have the link to the exhibition. Um, I just put it in chat again also. If that way you have it and you can go back. No, really, really wonderful. Thank you both so much. Um, let's see, and then Lila, and let me see where you are, you're halfway down. And, uh, and Lila and B. And let's see, where are we? Farther down. Yeah, B's here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, almost. <laughs> yeah, I, most of our stuff is very much, um, we got into fantasy images. And uh, my first piece was um, that Photoshop from photos that I had done. And B is a, a, a collage artist. And I love her stuff. It's so different from mine. My 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 motivation to keep doing this stuff is to try to get better at painting in Photoshop. And I was doing that for a while, but this last time I, I was so pressed for time with doing other things that, and I'm fast with uh, photo bashing in Photoshop that I 
put together, threw together some photos and actually drew in it at the same time. So, but B's stuff that she was doing was like just inspiration for me. Thank you, B. I love you. Oh. I think you work great <laughs> together. Um, I am so thrilled, so, so thrilled, Lila, to see your face and um, for your generosity of spirit throughout the whole collaboration. I just felt so um, uh, inspired, but also uh, immediately somehow connected to you. Um, and um, it's funny that you call me a collage artist because I don't see myself as a collage artist. I just went, I, I used this platform to do collage and it was so freeing and playful and um, and it made me wonder why, I, I mean, I've of course done collage in the past, but why I haven't been doing collage more. <laughs> so um, it was just, wonderful. Yeah, and, and it, it was funny because at the moment that I started working with Lila, I was in upstate when it was a snowy world um, and just kind of escaped in my sister's uh, farmhouse. And I found my niece's gemstones and, and started playing with what I had on hand, which was, oh, I only had a printer, gemstones. I was, did not have access to my supplies at home. So in that way, it was quite freeing um, and very playful. Um, and like you, we went everywhere from hieroglyphs to, to you know, bioluminescence and, um, you know, mushrooms and cacti and strange different you know, just strange places and worlds kind of like and and we just kind of bounced off of each other and fed each other I think and picked up on small cues and clues and um really what it fascinated me most was that we got into personal I didn't know that Lila was from Hawaii and so I did um, in the Phoenix volcano and then Lila told me she was from Hawaii and then made me feel very open and vulnerable to allow in the very end, my Polish kind of roots to come out with the Polish mountain. Oh, water water. Yes. And, and like and, and poppies. And so the, like the personal kind of, you know, the personal came out as well through kind of, you know, um, through the end, in the end. So it was a gift. It really was a gift. Yeah, V's last piece there, um, she was saying that she had dreamt about poppies in the snow. And so I put together these mountains in Poland that I found and poppies in the snow and a gypsy ice queen that I tried to render. And uh, for mine, it was Madame Pelé, uh, the volcano goddess that and the symbol above her was of a, a female giving birth and below was um, a design from a, from a pottery that uh, symbolized the people of the earth. So Madame Pelé does give birth to new land in Hawaii. She's very respected. Anyway, so it was like, and then she came, um, B, you came back with that eye of the mountains and your gems inspired me to put a lot of, um, at first the moons that I took pictures of, you know, full moon and uh, then of, um, of the Milky Way that I saw, cause I didn't have gems, <laughs> that I saw as, as being um, gems in the sky. So thank you, B. This was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Lila. And I feel like we'll stay connected. And um, Christine, Absolutely. thank you kindly for, for keep on, you know, I know you need a little break for self-care, but you, this has been amazing. So thank you kindly. You're welcome. No, I feel, I feel way better right now. Um, uh, I had my shot yesterday and usually they say that you're supposed to feel yucky the day after, but three hours in, I was feeling really horrible and had I slept pretty much most of yesterday and this morning I'm feeling way better but now I have to go take in in about 15 minutes take my husband to get his shot and um thankfully I'll be better I'll be good enough healthy enough to be able to care for him if he feels bad yep that's great good <laughs> 
Yay. Hopefully everybody will be getting their shots very soon. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you both. It's a beautiful collaboration. Thank yes. you. Fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, B. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see, Adiola. And let's see, I think you were towards the bottom here. Normally you're at the very top, but I think your partner went first, so let's see. And this is here too. Yes, so. I'm here. Oh, and here we go. Oh, awesome. Awesome. There we go. There we go. Well, um, I wanted to first say thank you, Christine. You know, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know you need your self care, which is very important. <laughs> but you know, after being that I've participated for the last 13 rounds, I think I'm gonna be at loss for a little while <laughs> because I look forward to it. each round. I look forward to it. So, uh, but it's it. You know, you need the care, and it's so important that we do self care. Um, so this round was with uh, Stacy, and we kind of uh, did a lot of board walking, if I would say. <laughs> so, so she uh, started the uh, call, and I responded uh, to it when I saw the, the first thing that she posted and sent me. And I'm like, oh, OK. I've been enjoying uh, the boards visiting my backyard and the front yard since the springtime. Uh, with the bud feeders so it's one of those pastime things that you do uh that i do you know uh, sometimes when i get the uh, bud being stuck at home i go out and and watch them so and i've uh, acquired uh i take pictures sometimes or a little video now i'm even taking more pictures of them because we were using them so i did this this uh, my first response was just uh uh showing the bots moving did a, a little uh stop motion animation on that one and then she responded back with the um, the two uh, bots together, which then um, made me think about, oh, I'll do a, a little bit of a love dance of the bots because I see them. Sometimes it looks like they're having some love dance out on, on the trees or in the backyard. So I did another stop motion of those uh, two uh, different bots that I are taking pictures of and silhouette them and move them around. And um, and then she um, did another one uh, of, uh, of of the board. So we just kept the board scene because we we're having so much fun with it. And I did the, the so it made me start to look into my archives of things. You know, a lot of times that I photograph just for inspiration, and then start to do uh, a, a, a digital uh, collage or. or in, uh, superimposed on top of each other, and um, and I, I combined with the stop and emotions and things like that. So then here she did one, and this uh, other one I really uh, have the the uh, uh, thing when if you play it, you'll see the the board coming down towards you and really gives it volume. Um, uh, so we just have we just have fun as you can see everything it's just we did a lot of butt walking and I, I addressed it in, in different aspects and and then i did ones of the the uh, animation where the pieces form into four and then she responded with the eggs and then my last piece was this one here that the uh uh board was standing and the the good question was uh, is it protecting or is it trying to eat the, the eggs? You know, uh, there's a question mark that says protector, you know, and it's open to, to the viewer to see when uh, you watch it to see what conclusion you come with. And I don't know what comes next after that. Is that, is that the last one? Okay, so I guess mine was the last one. Yeah, okay, and now, so Stacy, take it away. Sorry, my laundry's going, so it's going to be a little loud. But <laughs> um, no, it was really fun working with Adiola. It was really, I really enjoyed it. And I love the conversation that we ended up having. And I, too, am having fun um, going through my archives and looking at pictures, photographs that I took, because I have a whole bunch of photographs that I just, you know, just never do anything with. So it's been fun to play with um, digital collage, which is something that has come out of this call and response, something that I hadn't done um, for a long time. So it's, it's really been fun to play with that. 
and do that. And I, and I loved our, I did, I did, did enjoy our bird walk. It was really fun. <laughs> it was lovely to, lovely to get to work with her and she, and, and her videos are very, they're very, they're very sweet. They're very special and they're these like little jewels. So it was really lovely to see. So thank you. <laughs> thank you both. Um, really, you know, it's, whenever I put these together, I love to see like how the different mediums that you use, whether it is, you know, photography, digital, and like how you both respond in different mediums, you know, like whether it's an image and a video and stuff like that. So, you know, I really like that. And, you know, really another beautiful collaboration. So yeah, th 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 thank you for the opportunity. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't do, uh, vi I'm not a video artist, but I wanted to really use this platform. Uh, it's a way to keep fresh some of the things I used to teach the, my students when I, you know, was an educator and uh, a lot of the stop and emotion, we used to do a lot of it. So this kind of allows me to play around with some of those things. And I, and it comes much, uh, um, I would say a little bit easier than if I have to sit down and paint uh, and, and do that. So, uh, so it always get me thinking, what do I need to do? How can I impose this? How can I add this together? Once I see the, uh, the, rest, the, the, the uh, piece being sent to me, and then I start to think and then start to look for things to uh, put together. So thank you for the opportunity. And I guess uh, I will think of the break as my own self-care. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was going to tell you that, Adiola. <laughs> you're, all, you're busy anyway. So but yes, like use my self-care for all of your self-care. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Um, and Stark, and let me see where you are in the list. Um, who was your partner? Let me see. Lucy, my partner, oh, yeah. Lucy. Lucy Hill. Um, I don't know. Is Lucy here? I don't know. I, who she is. I was hoping she would be here, but I don't think she's here. Yeah. It's really sad. I wanted to meet her, but I'm going to try to do, the, do this. Yeah. yeah, let me find you. Yeah, she's, she's really, we had a great collaboration. Um, yeah, it's down there somewhere. There it is. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she was first and she sent me room. She lives in Virginia and she was very, very busy with the political situation. And, um, you know, I try to block that, that uh, Congresswoman's name. So I, I don't know her name, but her, Lucy was trying to, you know, kind of fight that bill that was being passed in Virginia. So she, she was so involved in politics and we had a great collaboration. What we basically did was create rooms and then uh, the ebb and flow of life. She sent me a room and then I sent her a room. And um, if you scroll down, I'll be kind of brief. So what we tried, what we were doing is like in these, these pieces, uh, we were creating a room and then I would send I'd sent her this vision and then we kind of went into our destruction. So it's building and destruction. And then we went into rebuilding. So the, the one with the, um, the room with the lady and the lights and everything, that was kind of like, okay, let's rebuild. Let's, let's see kind of the ebb and flow of life. And so then she sent me this room with cats and it's got a little bit mysterious. And so then I sent, you know, we were just communicating back and forth with these environments. I loved it. She was very busy and she kept apologizing for being late. And I kept saying, no, Lucy, your work is so important. So anyway, to sum it up, we got really toward the end very personal. And I love the two pieces that say the stork club. I, I sent her the one with the feet and then she sent me one that I even showed my daughter-in-law and my son and they absolutely loved it because she sent the stork club with very personal, it really brought me to tears. And then I sent back the image of this Congresswoman being trashed and, and then I've tried to find somebody with her name. So it was Sarah Joseph Hale. And then again, I put all her art pieces in the Women's Museum in Washington, DC. <laughs> That's awesome. And then finally the culmination is we went back to the original 
And I, the last piece that I did is put everything together. The woman, I just have to tell you real briefly, the woman sitting there is Mira Komorowski. My granddaughter Mira is named for her. She was very, very prominent in women's issues in the 40s and 50s and wrote many books about the dilemma of the educated woman having to go back into the household and live that traditional life. And so, yeah, we just, Lucy was great. The collaboration was fantastic. I was just kind of hoping she'd be here today. Oh, this is wonderful. I love this. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It was, it was really, I, I just thought she was an amazing woman. We had such great back and forth. Yeah. You know, I love, you know, seeing the artwork, but like I said, the artist talks and hearing, you know, like the concepts behind them and the stories of how you get to know each other and um, are really special. So, oh, I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So let's see, Ibuki. And let's see, if you were with... Um, who are Mish. You? Oh, yes, with Mish. And I don't think she's here, is she? Yeah, I don't think so. So, okay, I'm going to call. Okay. So, there we go. so my, hi, my name is Ibuki. I'm a performance uh, media artist. I paired with photographer artist Mish. Uh, call and response always gives me a surprise and a discovery. So the, this collaboration with Mish this time was very fulfilling. So her work uh, beautiful, mainly featuring Hawaiian nature and animals. Uh, I was born and raised in the countryside of Japan. However, I was surrounded by industrial areas. So I have always admired the beauty of the ocean since I was a kid. So a lot of fun to explore and find the uh, physicality in the house through this color and response. For example, Mish created a piece of animal seal so that I created the same word seal with different meanings as an inspiration. So this was an uh, image of a trapped physicality. Also this time I used a futon in my work, like uh, hugged by a futon, which gave me inspiration for my new work. Uh, so thank you, Christine. I really appreciate this amazing core and response project uh, open for us. So please take care of yourself and uh, treat yourself. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Abuki. Mm -hmm. You know, like WordPress is always really funky. I had problems with a few of the artists' work, and Abuki is like, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think it's censorship, but it happened actually on my website too. I think it's YouTube, where several of her videos were there under YouTube, and you couldn't see the video because of adult content. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So we had I don't know why. screenshots with the links to the videos. But if you haven't watched Ibuki's videos, um, you know, you're missing out. So, you know, definitely watch her, watch her videos. They're really wonderful. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Thank you. thank you. And yeah, Kanchi. Yeah. I, you know, I was trying to think, I mean, I know you've invited me to many of your <laughs> performances, Ibuki, and you know, they were just at times I couldn't go, but I do look forward to seeing you in person too. <laughs> Definitely. Um, all right, um, Adriana, let's see. And I think you're at the very top. And Stacy, and is Stacy here? Let's see, I don't think I see her. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I think not. She is not, she's not here. I think not. I don't see her. Okay. Well, I was scary because I, I was the first one, my first language. So I'm very scary because I say, okay, many people don't understand Spanish, but I feel better working in my language because it's more easy to me to communicate. I see it's a risk for others to understand, but for me, it's more easy to communicate. So I take the risk. And uh, Stacey give me this gift um, as the, her feedbacks. And that put me uh, think about how to respond that 
because she is more quickly than me in the way to respond. Uh, so all of my words was about out myself. I that's my topic, my reference, auto reference. So I do different videos about talking about me. I put pictures, illustration, mixes, video art. I put poetry, mixes, uh, digitals. Mm, I put. Uh, uh, I do the first one is a collage in, in the floor. It's a photo on the floor. I, I have two issues. The first one is very small, so I need to fix the, the size. And the second issue I have is to number it because I don't understand it. So Stacy helped me to how to number it. Uh, and that's all I try to to you know, play with the with uh, the response she give me, so I play for the lines that I see all the time, the black, the white, the red, and some of them have yellow and um, blue. But is no no always because uh, our eventuality, but it's like to continue the line, to continue the communication, because I think she goes very literally with my call. So that's very amazing because I very need to think what to, call, to respond about it. The, you know, it's really wonderful to see that communication across different cultures and different languages. And, you know, you both did an amazing job of doing that. So congratulations. I think, you know, I mean, if you know my work, like this one really stuck with me. I love this one. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite too, because so very strong, uh, talking about the transformation of my body. So yeah. it's very strong to me. And I think it's one of my favorites. Uh, the second one is the video art for me. And um, that's the change in one, that yellow one is the change of my body at the right moment. Yeah. So talking about it. And um, I really want waiting the third one. I really excited to my new pair. And I'm with uh, Christine Steven in, in mentorship. So yeah, that's I'm great. very busy with <laughs> show books. Oh, good, good, yay. Um, and you know, the other thing about like call and response and really anything is, you know, I mean, there are like, I give specific instructions about like how to label because that's like how it makes it easier for me in WordPress and, you know, and as far as like the order of how the work was done. Um, but it also helps, you know, there's so many artists that contact me and say, I don't know how to size, or I don't know how to caption a JPEG or things like that. So I think they're also good teaching moments. <laughs> so, which, you know, so good. I'm glad, you know, Stacy was able to help you and sort you sort through that with you. So awesome. Thank you. Thank so you, much. Christine, for the opportunity. We need more common, uh, communication. We need more community more than capitalism, more than uh, competition. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. All right, Aiden. Um, and let me see. Oh, yeah, you're at the top, too. I think you're. Yes, I'm at the top. Hello, I'm Aiden. I'm in New Jersey. And my partner, Pernia, um, which I never met her and I don't know if I'm mispronouncing her name because she's in Mumbai and she tried hard to stay awake, I think, for this. So <laughs> I know she'll probably be watching this later. So hi, Pernia. <laughs> um, uh, this was fun for me. It was my first time doing this. Um, and uh, I kind of just wanted to use this as a time to have fun. I liked when the description said, if you have 20 minutes, doesn't matter how much how long it takes to do something um just to to create something and that's what i did i took time to just create so i was the first one um 
And I have these tiny little small canvases that I thought, okay, this will be just nice and easy to start with. I had an idea I was gonna do that failed. And then I just did that. And uh, it was really fun to watch Prania come back. Uh, she does these great um, abstract colored paintings and they're all on handmade paper. And so it was really fun to see what she would come back with. I loved seeing her color. I loved um, then just balancing that. And then I kind of just worked with whatever I had around me playing around. And this is uh, the result. <laughs> uh, you know, that is the perfect use of call and response. I mean, that's it, you know, just to do something, you know, to mm -hmm. get us in the studio working, doing whatever you can. So I love that. I love that. And again, you know, that like we're working around the world. I mean, you know, with somebody around the world, which is just amazing to me too. So yay for Zoom. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and yeah, just other ways to connect, but no, wonderful yeah. collaborations. It looks like you guys were busy too. <laughs> well, what would happen is that um, she's on the other side. So it's tomorrow for her. Yeah. So every day I would wake up with something new. It was always, and we were, we were like really one a day. Yeah. Um, no, that's great. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Um, Miles. And let's see how oh, you're towards the bottom here. Let's see. Ah, warm here. Um, let me find you. Oh, there you are, Miles. Let me see. Hey. Hi. Oh, wait. Turn it off. There we go. And I don't think I saw Sabine. Is Sabine here? I have no idea. <laughs> if she want, if she sees this video, hi. Um, you did a good job. Um, I I looked before we started. I looked on the website and it said jazz, and I thought we were just doing jazz. So I just like told her to like do a jazz thing with me, and she was like, okay, let's do a jazz thing. And we have fun with it. And she like changed it. And I'm like, okay. Your, your art's cool anyway, so let's just change it. So we just like went around, was like trying different things with our work and we just came up with a lot of the stuff in the later half, that's my favorite. Um, I think the one with the two faces is my favorite just because like it has my style to it. And, you know, I took off of work for like the, the uh, duration of this time because I really wanted to make a good uh, collection of work with her. I think it would kind of be like a jerkish thing to do since like I have my own business. It's just like, it's not like a like nine to five job. So like I can take off whenever. So I actually wanted to be there for my partner. Um, so with that being said, she really pulled through. Uh, she's awesome. If you're watching this, you're awesome. If you're not watching it, you're still cool and awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, thank you again for the uh, fun ride. Um, I had a lot of fun. You're welcome. You're welcome. No, it's also a really fun collaboration. Um, and, you know, are you named after, you know, Miles? Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Davis. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. Perfect. <laughs> no, really cool. Thank you so much for participating. You're welcome. Awesome. All right. Um, let's see. And then Jeannie and Lena. And let me find yours. I think you're up here. Uh, let's see, where are you? Oh, there we go. All right. Hi, Jeannie. Um, hey, glad Lena. To, glad to meet you in person. <laughs> this is so it's, exciting. <laughs> well, you did wonderful work. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? I, I can start. Since, uh, you start because you were number one. Yeah, me, I was so, number yeah. one this time. So I was really, really excited. And I wanted to start um, basically this first work that I did. I um, I had started it a couple of weeks ago and it never came to like the finishing touch. And so this gave me an opportunity to uh, finish something for a deadline. So I sent this work and then Jeannie responded with this amazing photo and a more amazing poem. Like I really love the poems, Jeannie. Like the way they they really expressed what I wanted to say with my painting. It was so special. I never collaborated with a poet before. And I thought that this was 
just such a treat to me. Um, so I was really, really inspired to create more and more. And um, actually, I want to say that this round was really cool. I, I enjoyed a lot of other rounds too with uh, some artists that are here today also, but um, never was a poet. So this was really cool to me. Um, and I feel like it allowed me to actually, like someone else said that, oh, I wanted to um, actually create a great body of work with this particular collaboration. So I felt like that too, like I was inspired to actually spend much more time in the studio and create this time around. So thank you so much. Um, and of course, Christine, thanks for organizing all these rounds and, um, you know, I'll sure miss them, uh, but definitely, you know, so grateful for, for you to organize it and definitely you deserve the self-care time. So, you know. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I loved working with Lena. And one of the things that was really interesting and kind of, um, I don't know, really sort of fabulous this time was her work was so different than other artists that I've collaborated with. You know, this was, let's see, so this was 12. So I've done 11 of them now. And, um, you know, I, I loved um, how geometric some of her work was and how, you know, I, and then some of the things she did were very specific, like they had references to, you know, letters or, you know, um, deconstructed, um, you know, keyboard pieces and things like that. So I found that it was um, really fun to respond to those directly and kind of put some of those words into some of the poems. And then, of course, one of the things that really, you know, has excited me and been so fun about all of these, these pieces has been that um, all these collaborations has been that I've I've really, you know, done a lot more, um, you know, with photographic images. And um, I really enjoy doing that. And particularly, and especially with Lena's, I tried to find images that matched her images. Like it's been a long time since I was second. So I was able to like find things that, you know, like, like matched hers. So, or tried to match hers, you know, so like if she had something that was rectangular or reminded me of a city. I tried to find something that reminded me of that, you know, in an, in an image around here and, uh, you know, try to match up some of the colors and things like that. And I had a, just a wonderful time collaborating with her. The only thing that I regret is that um, number six only has a photograph with it and not a poem because I got confused on the numbers. And later I was like, oh, you didn't include number six. You've got to add that in because because also this is one of the first times in a, in a long time that I haven't sent the, the Dropbox in. And um, she was like, no, you never sent one. I was like, ah, cause like I just, I intended to. And I guess it was like really late at night and I just didn't, didn't do that. But I just loved all of her work. I thought it was really, the layers were just like so interesting and so complex and it was really fun to respond to that. So as always, I love this and echoing Lena, Again, Christine, you've just done an amazing thing with, you know, with creating, you know, this, this collaborative series. Um, it's just really been, you know, a wonderful experience. Each of them incredibly unique and, you know, and, and very meaningful. And it was lovely to have Lena to play off of here and um, really, really enjoyed it. Awesome. Thank you so much. You know, Jeannie, eventually you're going to have to do a book. <laughs> oh, I, I would love to do that. <laughs> that would be so awesome. Yeah, I would well, love me. to do that. <laughs> Just call and response poems. I mean, how That's many right. have you done? <laughs> you know, oh, from... my God. Well, let's see. Since I've done since I've done 11 of them, um, well, 11 times um, seven. So yeah. 77, I guess. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jeannie. Oh, thank you. As always, you're amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. Oh, that's great. Aiden. I see your message in there too. Um, let's see. And we have Nino. And I think, um, and is it me? Who are you with? Nino, Brenda? Or let me see. Yeah, Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. Um, let me see. I saw Brenda too. So let's see where are you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah. yeah. 
So go for it. Nina, do you so, want to start? Because the, the, and Nina, Nina, if you want to start, go ahead. No, no, no. You you start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I um I had had the first piece. It doesn't show up as well <laughs> on here. It was it was just really snowy, and I had dog and bird footprints, <laughs> and um, and then I sort of played with them digitally, and. I, I think our back and forth was really, um, it was very fast, which was very cool. And um, I don't know, I, it, it really was like a game of, um, what's it called? Beautiful Corpse. Oh, Exquisite Corpse. Exquisite Corpse. Yeah. yeah. Like we just went back and forth, like really fast, you know, something would just inspire and then which, which was really fun. And I, I was, I did more drawing for this one. I couldn't figure out how she was doing those black and white shapes. So I had to kind of draw them and then I would photograph them and then play with them digitally to make them look like hers. But it was, it was lots of fun. Oh, great. Thank you, Brenda. I would add that it was like first time I did this. I don't know why it, I didn't know it before. <laughs> and I really enjoyed collaborating and like she was so inspiring. Like I was just looking forward to get like in the morning. It was for me in the morning to see the new thing coming. I, I still miss it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, like it, there was really connection because somehow like what was coming, it was so much like what I felt or it's some way it was real collaboration and I loved it. Thank you for that. Well, thank you. It was fun getting to know you. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Where are you located, Nino? I'm in Tbilisi, Georgia. It's a small oh. country, like not, not America, but Georgia. Yeah. At the Black Sea. Yeah. yeah. What time is it there? Uh, now it's uh, past 12 midnight. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> Thank you for coming on. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure. Awesome. And thank you for the wonderful collaboration too. Really, really great. Um, all right, uh, Julie. And let's see, um, I don't know, is Charlotte here? I don't believe Charlotte's here. Um, I haven't heard back from her, okay. but um, she's here in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, there we go. Um, <clears throat> so our beginning theme, we had the evolution of an artist in the time of COVID. And um, I started out by sending her a series of miniatures um, of my take on what the virus is, and her take then of an artist in the time of COVID. And then we moved on to the emotions of being suppressed or, you know, like in quarantine, being, you know, in a city where you can't walk around. Um, it just went to the feelings. And then we kind of, as we went through the emotions, went through a period of hope where, um, you know, we became aware and um, ended up with a pilgrimage to um, salvation, to serenity, to peace, to, um, you know, just getting away from it. Uh, and so um, I guess that's all I have to say on it. Um, I think it was amazing being paired with Charlotte because we are both very much emerging artists and um, we both have the Antelope Valley connection. Um, oh, I wow. started out my art in the Antelope Valley and Charlotte is located in the Antelope Valley. So we have a lot of mutual friends and um, you know, I really enjoyed trying different medium. I wanted to kind of be all over the place um, with my expression and try new and different things and Charlotte is um, into collage and so she started creating these mixed media um, projects or mixed media art and um, I don't know I think she did a good job for being emerging and I think um, I'm happy with what I produced as also being you know very new and emerging in this um, in the art world. Absolutely. I mean, Thank you, you know, so much, Christine. Thank you for the opportunity and all you do. 
You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, it's like when I pair up artists, it's all random. I mean, it's all, you know, I pull the names. And so it always amazes me when there's some type of connection. Somebody mm -hmm. puts together or even once or twice, there's been artists who have been paired up before, you know, get paired up again, which is what it always amazes me. So I love to hear that, you know, just how <laughs> those connections happen. So we're definitely going to remain friends. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. And that's what I love too. You know, and some artists who have been paired up together continue to work together afterwards, which I love also, which is so great. I can't wait like 20 years down the row. Oh yeah. Or down the line. Oh yeah. We met each other through Christine's call and response. <laughs> yeah. I hope that happens. <laughs> Me too. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> um, Kanchi. Let's see. And who are you with, Conchi? I was with. Um, oh, Canada. Great House. Yeah. I, I love her last name. I know. Uh, there we go. All righty, go for it. So, um, my experience on this one was really interesting um, because uh, it was kind of a role reversal um, where I had been, I've done this a couple of times and she hadn't done it before. And so um, when we were working on it, it was her, um, she was to submit a piece, the first piece. And um, so she was, I think she was really stressing about it. I said, just send me whatever you have. It's okay. I don't care. It's we'll, we'll work from it. It's, it's fine. And, um, when she sent me her first piece, uh, I found it, um, really interesting. And so I started asking a bunch of questions, um, because it talked about love and I said, is everything all right? Are you, you know, so I went into like helper mode and, she says, no, she likes to talk about emotions a lot in her pieces. And I said, okay, that's really, that gives me a lot of information. And then um, I started also tweaking with um, sound. And so like the tree one that's coming up right now, I actually found a website that I could put in all my words and have it say it exactly the way I was hearing it in my head. And so, because I didn't want it to say when a tree falls, I wanted to stutter and I wanted it to stutter in certain areas. And then I slipped in um, when a heart breaks at the very end. And then I had it on loop. And so that took me longer than creating the pieces. <laughs> So it was a, it was interesting. I actually um, had a lot of fun with it. And um, because I was able to go in and not just work on an art piece, but also learn new ways of putting video together. And so, yeah, I spent a lot of time on apps and <laughs> learn, downloading a lot of new apps and then deleting them because they didn't do what I wanted them to do. But it has, I have to say that this project has given me a newfound perspective on digital art and video. And I, I will be doing more video and just really digging into it. And because it's, I'm a sculptor and I make very big sculptures. So this doing video digitally, everything I, completely out of my realm of comfort and I love it <laughs> oh that's so great it, yeah another wonderful collaboration thank you very cool and you know again I love how you know like you and you know so many other artists are experimenting you know trying different apps and I'm waiting for somebody to see how they can bring nfts into call and response <laughs> I'm like no <laughs> uh oh, Francisco. <laughs> but um, but no, it's you know every time like early on there was another artist who used video and like played with apps. 
and everybody was like, what app did you use? And so then others were trying it and you know, it's great. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I actually took it. She asked me what apps I was using. And I, so I just took screenshots of my little app folder and I said, I'm not really sure which one I use this time, but um, these are the ones that I mess around with all the time. And so, yeah. cause I have like five, what, three pages um, on my iPhone in a little folder that it's just all those kinds of apps. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, no, wow. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Conchi. Thank uh, you. Victoria, I saw your message here on NFTs. It's a new form of crypto art that I don't even understand. And actually, I'm not going to get into it. It's like <laughs> a whole other part of the art world. And um, I've been like finding articles for one of my artists who wants to get into it, but I'm not even going to touch it. <laughs> I, would, I probably wouldn't understand anyway. I'm, I'm so low tech. It's hard enough for me just to get on Zoom. So <laughs> it has to do with like cryptocurrency, Bitcoin and stuff like that. But it's art. Oh, so. it's MFT, the, the uh, like an acronym? N as in Nancy, F oh. as in Frank, T as in trombone. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, all right. Thank you, Conchi. Um, let's see, Francisco. And um, let's see, who are you with again, Francisco? Oh, hi. I was with Camelita, but Camelita oh. will not be able to participate today. She is uh, with her son. So okay. um, let's see if I can get this thing not to wander all over the place. <laughs> Stay. I recently raised my workstation so I can work standing up. But there you go. There All right, go. let's see how this Yay. works. <laughs> so, uh, hello everyone, and thank you, Christine, for having this call and response rounds. Uh, and I don't think I have participated in all of them, but I have participated in most of them, and it has been fun. And I, I did a lot of thinking this morning when I was driving to get some supplies for the next couple of weeks. And, and I think one of the takeaways that for me has been the most valuable is working with other artists that have a whole different plate of disciplines, you know, in, in, their, in their toolkit, in their tool belt. And it has been wonderful because there has been some great artists participating on the color response. I mean, you can, you can see their posters on Facebook and they do wonderful work. So from that perspective, it has been a wonderful experience. Uh, I, I recently heard a couple of things. Uh, I work, uh, I call myself a multimedia artist only from the perspective that I paint the traditional way. And I also work with digital work. I've been working with computers since the age of 16. And the main reason that I got into computers was to see if I could create art with it. So there's a long story of creating digital work uh, in various formats. And one of the things that I, I find challenging for me, for example, is to be able to use a tool efficiently or you know, to do some quality work. Mm. And right now you have a lot of apps that are doing that very, very easily, but not everything has you know, the perfect tool, the perfect brush, the perfect color. So you end up borrowing a little bit of some applications, the majority of the other ones. One of the goals that I had was to be able to create videos. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to invest the time and the money on learning something new, but I found that on the iPad, there are some applications, for example, uh, Affinity, that records your actions and creates video. The flow, which is very, very nice. So in this round, I was able to combine some of the images with a tool, but I didn't post none of the videos as part of this uh, uh, call and response. So maybe the next round, I might be able to mix a little bit on that. So I'd like to talk about Camelita. Uh, Camelita's work is colorful. I instantly love her work the moment that I saw uh, her website. And I was waiting in anticipation to see what she would give me. I mean, our color palette is very similar. So she started with a very colorful painting and I recently discovered a new feature in one of the tools in Affinity that actually creates that 
radiant display of colors, you know, which does some very interesting results. So I follow up with that piece. The third image that you see up there is, is a woman with what I thought to be a dancer. So of course, I reply back with some Spanish flamenco dancers, you know, with their little castanets uh, dancing in there. And she tells me, uh, I was a boxer. I says, well, dancing is like boxing. <laughs> so we just kept going. And then she followed up with another piece and I created another digital piece of art. Oh, very colorful, uses some new features. And by the time that I got to the third row, the green piece, the very nature piece, I started to really create some animations with, uh, with the tool. Very nice. I felt comfortable with it. So we just kept going back with the work back and forth. It was a very productive and fun uh, call and response. So thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And like everybody yeah. else says, I agree. The colors in yours are beautiful. You know, it's a, yeah, a really yummy, you know, collaboration. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Beatrice. And Hi. Hey. My, my partner is not here uh, today. Um, she lives in Turkey. Um, and oh, I don't yeah. I don't know exactly what the time difference is, but um, she had some other things going on today, too. So um, unfortunately, I was I was excited to get to finally meet her because we, we had a such a wonderful collaboration this round. Um, um, her name is uh, Ilke. Yeah, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But um, yeah, so. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Um, so we uh, Ilka started um, and uh, just sent me this beautiful little little drawing collage piece of this young young girl on a street. You can see the first image, and it immediately and I think she titled it Nostalgia. Um, and I love I love nostalgia and memory and this is these are things that I like to work with in my own work. And so I was immediately inspired and also inspired by other artists from the last call and response who did. I don't remember who it was, but somebody did like a 3D puppet, paper puppet thing. And that was really exciting. Um, so I thought, okay, can I make a 3D paper pop-up <laughs> thing this round? Um, and so I created this little 3D image uh, and the, the figure in it is actually inspired by a Chagall painting that I love uh, called Young Girl in Pursuit. Um, and this actually, uh, if anyone can see my video, I'm holding up a card of um, the Chagall painting. And this is a figure that I, I love a lot. So, and I have a lot of nostalgic attachment to. So when I saw Ilka's young girl, I made my own young girl. And, and then I think we just, we kind of expanded from there into installations. And so then each pass, we, we sent each other about three or four or five pictures because we created these installations with nostalgic pieces and found objects and different colors and leaves and plants and uh, different things and then captured pictures from different angles and with different arrangements. And we went back and forth uh, creating these installations. Um, I repurposed a lot of uh, images and objects from past artworks that I've created. Um, and you know, sometimes tried to bring my 3D paper thing into my other installations. Um, and so it became this back and forth about nostalgia and childhood. And we, uh, I had this tape that I used to construct my first image, this uh, washi tape um, that was this like teal seafoam green color. And it turns out that uh, Ilka had the exact same tape. And so she brought it into her and so, and so that was also appearing. And so that became a kind of color narrative that existed throughout. Um, and then it got more and more abstract. We went from objects that were identifiable to maybe some more abstract shaped objects. Um, I used uh, a screen, a room divider for an installation and played with the washi tape. And I also, um, I play board games and I, when you like punch out the pieces of a board game, I keep the frames and I never knew what I was gonna do with them, but I always kept them. 
<laughs> and finally here I found I found a purpose and I, I weaved some together and made this overlapping thing and we played with light and shadow so it was just a really fun uh, visual exchange and then at the end we uh, came back to that color um, that seafoam green color and and kind of nature and natural design and light and shadow um, and so and then we came back to the images of nostalgia. Um, she brought her little girl image back into this color. And then I took a photograph of my father uh, holding me when I was about, I don't know, I'd say like six years old. Um, and I traced it with a pen. And then I held that up against a window, um, took that picture and then added some more of that, that seafoam green color to it. Um, and then at the very end, Ilka created a poster uh, to represent our time together. So yeah, it was wonderful. I, we didn't do a lot of, of explaining or, or, you know, talking to each other about what the things were. We just, but we were very excited. This was one of the rounds where I created responses really quickly because I just immediately had something I wanted to make and was running around my apartment and stacking things and you know changing the lighting and taking pictures so it was a really really wonderful exchange and I, I look forward to one day uh meeting Ilka <laughs> um digitally or in person or something and maybe doing another collaboration but um yeah so that was that was our time together that is very cool that was going to be my question is if you talked about the installations or anything but I love that you didn't, that you just kind of, you know, and that, that's what I love about call and response that, you know, you just kind of know and, you know, see what happens. And I love that. Yeah. I mean, there were little remarks of, you know, these are nostalgic objects or I decided to go a little bit more abstract or I really like this color and now I'm following this color, but it was very minimal. Yeah. Um, the explanations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. I love it. No, oh, thank you so much. Um, all right, uh, Victoria. And let's see, um, who are you I with, was, Victoria? I was with Teresa Francisco, but I, I'm a little confused because is that her, was her husband in the in the call and response too? No, I think that Le, uh, Leonardo is, yeah, just same last name. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Because I'm, um, is Teresa here? I don't think so. Okay, because if she was here, I would want her to, um, I'm here. Oh, you are. Oh, sorry. Hi. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. Oh, Frio Lancisco. Oh, uh -huh. I see violins on the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's my husband. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you finally. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't why don't you start, Teresa? Because you started. Oh, okay. Um so um oh, it looks like the images are cut off a little bit. Um I started off with a painting of Cleopatra by Artemisia Gentileschi because I've been reading her graphic novel and um, you can't really see the full painting, but um, I just thought it would be fun. I used to paint a lot when I was younger and I haven't really been doing much and I thought, and I've been experimenting with um, watercolor. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just start with what I have right in front of me. Um, and then it just became like this back and forth that was had an Egyptian theme to it, which was really fun. Um, played with random things that were lying around and um, yeah, so it was fun. Very cool. Yeah, I, um, I, uh, got so much into the Egyptian thing that then um, the the image on the lower left hand corner is actually an object it's made out of cardboard that an Egyptian friend of mine gave me and I don't know what it is or what it's used for but um, I suddenly thought what if that were like a pyramid in a, in a landscape so <laughs> I put it in the landscape and then the last one was because Teresa had done this um, sort of like the eye of God and what were the what were the words again self strength and soul is that right yes yeah so then um, I was thinking about that and I um, I'm a huge fan of the magic flute by Mozart so that's um, that's one of the you know it's 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 set in a kind of mythical Egypt and so there are th the three values of work 
um, um, Kunst is art. Work, intellect, and art. Yeah, Klugheit is like um, intelligence, basically. And um, so, I what I did was actually it's a it's a combination of two original set designs um, that were different from each other from back like at the time, like the 18th century or early 19th century, I guess. Um, Cause one is like the columns in the background and the, uh, the pyramid I just, I sort of put in front, but um, it was really fun. Cause I didn't, I didn't anticipate um, going into this like Mozartian <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> so it was, it, yeah, it was a fun journey. It was, um, it was it was enjoyable because it it's we sort of got got to explore different aspects of our Egyptian <laughs> ideas. <laughs> so thanks, nice to meet you. I'm glad I got to see you. Likewise, we we actually found out we're almost neighbors, which is also one of those sort of oh yeah cosmic jokes. And um, Teresa's um, she her her two daughters are are studying music, and you're studying too, right? Yeah, so um, you can probably see my instruments in the background. We are all studying different string instruments because um, strings is part of their school program. So there's cello, violin, and viola in our house. And then you're a professional violinist, is that correct? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it was all very cosmic. It was so bizarre that we have um, so much in common. So we're going to, yeah, once once the pandemic settles a little bit, we're going to have to get together. <laughs> yes, I would love to create art in real time. Right. And music. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, well, that's what I love about the um, the kind of Dada aspect, Christine, of the whole call and response is that these connections come together that that no one could have planned, really. But they're, it's clear that they have this kind of otherworldly, like in the larger realms, they're meant to be. So thank you. Definitely. You're welcome. You're yes, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, all right, Elizabeth. And let's see. Oh, yeah, you're towards the top. I don't think Zara's here, though. So I don't think Zara. Zara, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, but yes, this was my second collaboration, and it was a lot of fun. And we didn't do a lot of talking. In fact, it was it was I kind of felt like okay, I'm not going to say a thing because <laughs> normally I. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll type away and I'll give all my details. Um, but basically, we just put our um, image and let that speak for itself. And um, yes, I was feeling very much like colors. It just sort of burst into my head. So I was giving the call. And um, when she started bringing in the blacks and those sort of things, it's all, it was a bit like I was sort of straining to keep the color going but then um when she brought in her the woven wool that was the um it's the fourth painting there with the wax um little image um it was the wool and the wax and that really um it i really responded to that because of the hard the soft the tight the loose and the idea of uh, my response was to unravel what she had done and to melt what she had done and to because she'd used wax and then to tie it all together in an, in a another way and so we kept looking i think at the idea of not so much the image but the way the material can be transformed and transferred from one media to another and so um, she presented a like a fig like thing, which is such a symbol of fertility and um, it has so many other wonderful connotations. And of course, it's, it's a, a lovely image, um, but the inside is so interesting too. So I sort of went, okay, what can I do inside? Um, so then we, yeah, we started looking at how, um, how things relate to each other when they're placed together, the hard and the soft, the sharp and the, the, mold melting and um yeah so we had a, a very non-verbal but interesting journey and uh when i was looking at them all together when we had put them all together it was like 
wow, I, I'm not really seeing some connections. And then as soon as I said that, of course, there was a connection. <laughs> and I love the fact that there are, there are times when you really don't know uh, where the truth lies or where the essence is. And then it, it kind of bursts out like one of those magic eye kind of things, you suddenly see it. Um, and so it's very exciting. And so, yeah, there were a lot of playful elements, like in one of them, she had just drawn, she's just drawn the, you know, the circle with the, the lines. And I kind of colored them in, but with a paper collage. And um, that was, yeah, that was a really sort of fun response. And the idea of pointing and sharp edges and soft edges, they kind of it kept coming through. So we had a really wonderful exchange of, of contrasting elements from color through to shapes, through to media. Um, so it was a, a very enjoyable collaboration. It's a wonderful experience. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that's so great. You know, I, I mean, you know, when the work comes in and I even I'm sure we all kind of get this when we look at the exhibition and we see it, you know, it's, I mean, we can see what it like the what happens afterwards when we see it as a whole, but to actually hear the artists talk about it and think, wow, I mean, there's so much more, you know, yeah. to the collaboration, so much to the thought process. You know, I mean, I always say, I think the process of just the working together is the most important thing of all, you know, yeah. and I love that. No, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. And you wait, you know, waiting every morning, like for me, cause I'm in Vienna. And so, and so our time zones are a bit, uh, you know, they're a little bit strange, but so I wake up to her uh, in the morning and it's like, what have I got? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's I great. spend the day thinking about it <laughs> in my other, whatever else I do during, Work and I think, okay, what can I do? And, yeah. Uh, so I, what I find really uh, one of the most precious things about this is that it's giving us an opportunity just to think and just not even word thinking, but just that, that sense of where am I in this moment? And I find that really, really refreshing, especially now when we're so busy thinking about how can we manage our lives right now. Definitely. Um, a really beautiful um, uh, artist to retreat, really. It's wonderful. Yeah, awesome. Well, and thank seeing you. everybody else's responses to each other is, uh, um, yeah, it's super exciting. It's really yeah, awesome. yeah, I, that's one of my favorite. I always, there's a couple of my favorite parts to this. I love picking the names and yeah. seeing who gets paired with each other. But then I love like the artist talk and, you know, just hearing about the process and hearing, you know, all of the different ways that artists yeah. work together. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a wonderful thing. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christine. So You're great. welcome. You're welcome. Um, there aren't any other hands raised. Is there anybody else who would like to talk that hasn't talked? Sean, <laughs> I was wondering, go for it. Let's see. And I think you're towards the bottom with uh, Gabrielle. Gabrielle, I don't think they're here yet, though. Let's see. There we go. I'm not sure, um, your interpreter may be muted. Let's see. Can, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Are you the interpreter? Okay, a voice for myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. She can sign for you. Okay. So um, I started the um, project. I was the first name, clearly. And um, it was funny because I noticed that my partner was from Germany. And um, I didn't know if they spoke English. <laughs> 
But I started, I always start by sending an email. So I went ahead and sent an email and said, hi, and who I am. And I hope that you can read English. So many people in, in Europe, they speak many languages. <laughs> My first language is and second was ASL um, because I was born hearing and then later became deaf it's about 14. So I explained that and um, he wrote back and he said, oh, I just live in Germany, not German myself. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cool. Um, and he speaks English. So we did, decided to email each other. And um, my first uh, email, I wrote words, um, Guten Tag, which means good day or hello in German. Um, I do speak a little bit of German because my grandfather and his brother spoke fluent German. Uh, my family, my mom's family is half Italian, half German from there. She's the first um, generation born here. So, um, uh, I typed it correctly. I spelled it right. Even had the umlaut, the dots above the u, but um, the um, the computer or my iPhone or whatever I was typing on did not understand and changed it to gluten tag. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it was funny because I'm allergic to wheat, and so one of the easy ways to avoid it when I was a kid was to buy glu gluten free stuff, right? And um, so it was a little bit, sometimes you buy something and you think it's not going to have gluten and it does. And so it's like we spoke when I was a kid, like gluten tag, like tag, you're it. Um, except it's worse because I would be covered in hives. So that's how that started. And then after that, we just played with the words. So all the titles are really what tied the pick together. And so it was interesting to see where the art was like the thing. Also his work, a lot of it was very dark. I mean, the colors. <laughs> and um, so that was interesting to work with and it influenced how I responded. You could see some of my art becoming more dark colors later um, when I tend to use really bright colors in my work. So it was very fascinating. Oh, that's so great. Oh yeah, and he did videos at the end. Yeah. No, it's a beautiful collaboration, Yeah, you know, and I mean, your, both of your work like together, you know, it doesn't feel dark to me, you know, it may have for you getting his, their, his work, but it definitely doesn't feel dark. It feels very kind of serene and yeah, it's a lovely collaboration. Yes. Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank it you. doesn't feel dark meaning bad. Um, no, I just mean the colors are dark. Like it looks like night, which is why, like, if you see, um, uh, so, I can't remember now, but I think I did date night through plastic, and it was at night. So um, it made me think about the nighttime because of the colors being more dark, like more blacks. Um, more grays and blues, um, more cool colors. Um, but then he did one called Lit. That's why he did the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so great. Oh, yeah. And he wanted to do two more, but I, I just ran out of time because I have, I had five projects going this month. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. I was like, oh, I can't I have to just put it all into the, the email for you because I had to finish and submit sh show work. And you know what I mean? I had so many projects. Yeah. I need to say no to some projects. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> That's good self-care, learning to say no. I want to do all art all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you yes. so much. <laughs> no, you have to say no sometimes. Oh, good. <laughs>
wonderful. I just Thank you. Want to That's jump so in quickly and say I um I used the wrong pronoun for my partner. Uh, it's he, not she. I didn't realize that. So just uh, Ilke uh, in Turkey. <laughs> oh, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see. <laughs> yes, Victoria. <laughs> um, and then Shirley wanted to go. And let's Could see. I, can I say something about? In the beginning, I asked. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I didn't realize you were um, here, Gabriel. He or she or they, your pronouns. Sorry because about I that. Gender, so I always think about that when I meet new people. I want to respect gender, not assume. It's really easy to mess up, especially with email. Like. <laughs> yeah, because you just you just see a name. <laughs> <laughs> don't necessarily know yeah 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 yes please gabriel i'm so sorry i didn't realize i didn't see your name at first okay yeah i couldn't find it the the second the second um facebook post it didn't go to the link unfortunately but i found it on the first uh gmail yeah the um so i was late sorry about that okay. the um yeah i think what uh Sean michelle uh, michael i think is a good um I think he put all the the pieces together and, and explained everything that kind of went that 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 happened. I think it's really good that uh, you know I completely missed the 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 idea that tag sounds like tag in English. I guess I'm kind of losing my English ability after these years in Berlin, but uh, but tag is good. Yeah, that was very good. Um, I think um, I think th th it was it became a little like. Um, it was focused on the titles, you know, and my use of titles as an artist is usually I submit something for a show. They want a title. I just did it like a month ago. Whatever, I, I give it a title. Right. And, and then if they don't put it in a show, then, hey, man, the title's still open, you know, and if it gets in a show then I generally stick to that title and like label it, you know, that's the title of the thing. Um, so. Um, so I so um, so anyway, it was fun playing with titles because everything we were creating was new. So you could just kind of come up with the title in response to the other person, which I thought was pretty cool. It became something I was just thinking as he was talking about it. It became something like a um, something like a kind of a rap. <laughs> Maybe it's going a little too far, but I mean, it was a little bit like that. It's like he would say something, and then I would kind of rhyme it, give it a different twist, and then he would he would like rhyme it and give it a different twist. And they a lot of them rhymed, or at least they were like based upon one another, kind of like a uh, kind of like a rap battle or something. Um, the darkness and uh, the light I, that he mentioned, I think, is also good i mean he he would he would he would give light and i would try to do something with dark that could you know speak to the light that that, that he was giving and instead of just going light i, I was very aware immediately that this is going to be a dark light exchange um which i thought was pretty cool um and um also they're just they're just elements within his um uh, you know the g uh, the geometric elements um something that's more uh, akin to like what i would call chicken wire but it's some kind of wire some kind of um you know creating another kind of uh, repeating uh, geometric sort of honeycomb type thing uh that that occurred several times and i tried to incorporate at least elements of that into my own things um we went to um Somewhere along the path, um, I went to video, right? But they're not, I mean, it's this continuing problem of mine trying to reconcile, you know, my uh, mixed media work with, you know, it's everything from photography to drawing to acrylics with my video work, with my film work. And yeah, I don't think I've really got it yet, but it's kind of fun always to have that challenge. And uh, so I really, uh, 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 um, appreciate what we were able to do together, and I'm really uh, thankful that I had had uh, him as a partner. I think it was a good, um, very, very a uh, playful, guten tag, like like he said in the beginning. So, um, thanks a lot for uh, for making it possible. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> I didn't say, see you were here. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it was cool to see your face finally. <laughs> had a good time working with you. Oh, and those are called hexagrams. 
<laughs> hexagon. Hexagon, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, it's a great theme. Go. Great theme. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, both of you. Um, let's see. And then Shirley. And let me see. Um, who were you paired with, Shirley? Larissa. And, Larissa. Oh, that's right. Um, yes. I don't, is Larissa here? No, Larissa's not here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All okay. right. Um, so, yeah, so I'm from Ireland and Larissa is from Romania. This is my very first time kind of joining this. And I have to say it's an absolutely inspiring, inspirational collaboration that and I would recommend everybody to do. It was just, it was a journey, I think, for both of us. And she, the first picture she sent and there was no words, there was nothing. So I responded back thinking it was a busy mind, loads of ideas going around her head and it just chaos kind of, that was my concept of our first piece. So I thought Rose was, was one to send back saying, look, white for calmness, be still, be calm be in the moment and just gather your thoughts for a moment and we'll get it from there. So from there, then it, it kind of evolved and it grew. And I, I, I think if we had a title for our piece, it would be the journey of life um, because certainly it, it was all different elements. There was technology, there was um, the soul, there was nature. So the video was in response to hers because it was kind of coming back to nature and stuff. So that inspired me to go to the beach. Uh, so I to put a little video together of the beach and just say, you know, be still, let's get back to nature, get rid of this busy world that's all around us and let's just appreciate what we have. So then her next piece then was about technology consuming us. Um, and, you know, if are we using it in the right way and stuff. So it was great. I use different mediums to write this, um, which I normally wouldn't do, but I, I just kind of felt it was, it just evolved and grew that way. So my next piece there was a mask. So it was kind of the mask was to represent technology that we can mask the fact that technology is consuming us or we can actually take the mask off and embrace technology if it's um, done in the right way. So the next piece then she was the eye. So it was all about the soul, your true soul revealing the soul um, and what was in them, you know, what is your soul? And she referred to pieces called, you know, inside out and stuff like that. So um, I was kind of, I came back then with a completely different piece with kind of your eyes are the truth to your soul. So if you look deep within your eyes, you'll see the truth and you'll unlock, you know, what's in with, what's within you. So then she came back then and she was like, yep, the soul in us, what is it? Like, where can we find it? Is it inside? Is it outside or that? So the flower then to me represented that okay, people, you know, you'd often hear, oh, it's good for the soul, the beach, the flowers and stuff like that. So I kind of brought it back to nature and I went, you know what, the flower can represent our soul inside and out because it needs feeding, it needs water. It'll tell us when it needs food, it tells us when it has enough food. So she came back then with the next piece um, and it was just kind of, you know, guide through life. Um, the next is a candle which unfortunately throughout this process, my friend was killed in a car accident. So for me, the candle represents my friend Leona um, and she lit up our world inside and out. And she was an inspiration. She lit up the room when she came in. And um, so that is her light. That's what the candle represents her. Um, and then the next one then was the kind of the two trials and tribulations of life up and down. So I have to say it was absolutely an amazing experience. And um, myself and Larissa are actually going to keep in touch. And we said, maybe one day we'll put an exhibition together. So I have to say to everybody here, it's been an absolutely inspiring collaboration. And uh, I really look forward to it. And Christine, thank you so much for all, everything. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic, the work that you've done. And I think I can speak on everybody here that it's amazing what you do. And it's amazing that two people from opposite ends of the world that can, can come together and can be completely opposite in the way they speak, the way they talk, the way they listen and stuff, but yet through collaboration, they can actually connect. So thanks a million. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, 
No, thank you. I mean, you know, yeah, thank you. Um, and I hope you signed up for round 13 also. Thank you. <laughs> um, anybody else? I think everybody here has spoke. Um, awesome. Well, you know, and it's just about time anyway. Thank you all so much for participating for, yeah, the amazing work. Um, you know, the artist talks always pull it all together, you know, and just um, the end of a great month, you know, the whole process. Um, you know, please sign up for round 13 if you haven't done so. Um, there's still a week, a week or two. What's the deadline? Um, oh, the deadline is the 28th. So there's still a couple of weeks to sign up. So. Um, and then my shoebox, the peer mentorship program is also international. So sign up for that. I put a link in the chat. And um, yeah, just, you know, stay safe and healthy out there. And let's hope we all get vaccinated soon. And, um, and that way we can all visit each other. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want a clone of me. <laughs> But um, I hope everybody has a great night, afternoon, morning, wherever you are. And um, so good to see everybody. And thank you so, so much. And we'll see you very soon. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, guys.